you and LeBron didn't like each other for a long time. What was the reason? Well, you know, we played the same position once, uh, one, and I think that's what the game is all about, creating rivalry. Dislike. Dislike is what okay. creates rivalry. You know, he wants to win a championship, I want to win a championship. You play my position, I think I'm the best. We play the same position, oh, you know, we got to go at it. So my theory is always when two NBA players don't like each other, it's either a girl or it was a gambling thing. No, it wasn't either of those. None of that. Okay. But the good thing about the thing about it, and he will tell you this, it just was on the court. Okay. You know, if I it saw him walking down once. the street, if I saw him down, yeah, it was in the tunnel one time. <laughs> <laughs> I actually kind of spit at the uh, yeah. bench, and uh, yeah, uh, it kind of uh, carried over. Yeah, you're young. I was young. <laughs> But if I had saw him walking down the street, it wouldn't be like LeBron. All right, let's go. Let's put your hands up. Like, yeah. no, it wasn't that. It was just the comp, the spirit of competing. How many times have you gambled with Michael Jordan and Antoine Walker in your life? Over, <laughs> under four and a half. Under four. We actually under played four. spades a few times. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, we would work out in Chicago. I go to Chicago. We work out. Then we end up at Antoine's house. Him, Jordan, Oakley. And we had you know some spade games. Who won? You know, Jordan, you know, he got the longest money, so I know I didn't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I was young then, too, so I got out of there quick. Kobe had his big farewell tour last year. Everyone had to be nice to him. Can we all admit the players didn't like Kobe? We can't admit that now? It's been I think a year. his teammates, you know, probably didn't like him, but I think everybody loved respected him. him. Respected okay. him. Okay. You know, I, I respected Kobe. What do you tell your young teammates on the night before they play in South Beach or New Orleans? Man, it's got to go out and get it in. <laughs> no, 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 just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> uh, oh, man, as a young player, you try to tell them have fun, but, you know, your game is tomorrow, so, you know, kind of come in at, like, three, not four or five. <laughs> <laughs> you must have had at least a couple nights in your career you were like, we're done. Oh, no, we no, no. no I'll tell you a good story, though. Look. Oh, please. So, look, we were in Miami one year. We were, like, on a... Three game lose streaks. Well, we all go out. Me and Antoine, Eric Strickland. So we end up at a club, and next thing I know, I come outside and it's daylight. I'm like, oh goodness! And we got practice. We got shoot around at 10 o'clock, so it's it's like 5:30 a.m. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I was out this late. You know, the sun hits you. You're like, oh man. So no sleep. We win the game. This is like one of my first buzzer beaters. Win the game at the buzzer. It starts a five-game win streak. That was the longest win streak of my career at that point. <laughs> I was oh, like, man, we need to go out like this more often. <laughs> uh, favorite dunk that you ever did on someone's head? My favorite dunk was probably on Bradley, the seven-foot center. Sean Bradley. Sean seven Bradley. Foot six Sean Bradley. Seven foot six. You had a Sean nice one Bradley. on him. I had a nice one on him. <laughs> oh, man, a nice one. I still got the picture. Uh, <laughs> did you push you and KG push LeBron James? in game five, 2012, a little too far with the trash talking because it led to the angriest, best game he's ever played in his life in game um, six. Would you take that back? No, I wouldn't take it back. You know, I guess at some point, all great players have that moment. And, you know, LeBron, I had my moment against him in the game seven. And, you know, he had his moment against me in that game six in Boston. You know, that was a chance for us to go back to the finals at home. Yeah. Game six, so, uh, you know, that's why he's one of the greatest. You know, I respect LeBron. People, you know, think we have a hate for each other, but I totally respect, you know, what he's done. I was actually more happy. This was the first time I was happy he won, the first time. Not the other times? No, not the other times. He didn't time. like the Miami. I just didn't want Golden State to win last year because <laughs> I was just tired of hearing about the 73 wins. They're going to yeah. be better than the Bulls. And I think the Bulls team that won 71 games is the greatest team all time, and I didn't want that team to be in that conversation. Right. <clears throat> uh, Clippers, people are sleeping on them, correct? Yes. Because they healthy, seem angry. There's an angry edge to the Clippers this if year. If we're healthy, I believe this will be a great send-off for me in going into retirement with a championship. One more. What do you do with your ring? That's my last question. Where's your it ring actually, right now? Uh, All I these know, guys want to win rings, it, it and then they sits, don't know where they are. It sits above my sink uh, where I brush my teeth, so it's like I have like another little uh, stand, and it sits kind of there by itself. Are you being serious? No, 100%. Like 100%. And so I have a rack of wedding rings because my wife bought me extra. No, look. And it's sit right next to them because in case I lose a wedding ring, so those like are right there. And then there's my championship ring right there. And I, so I kind of look at it every day. And then if I lose the rest of my wedding rings, I'll put the championship ring on for Why do you have so many wedding rings? Because uh, my wife 
was tired of me losing them, so she bought me like about five ninety-nine dollar <laughs> rings. <laughs> this is actually a ninety-nine dollar ring I'm wearing. Right now, so. All right. Because I travel so much, I'm in the locker room, take it off, put it on, take it off, and I've left it on the road so many times. She just got, <laughs> she got me like five or six of them. <laughs>